I'm Denise Densai and welcome to The Score. Today we pay tribute to one of the greatest of all time in the world of hoops, Kobe Bryant. We continue to honor the Black Mamba who made his mark not only in basketball but also the rest of the world. From NBA World Championships to Olympic gold medals to an Academy Award and his very own Mamba Academy, Kobe definitely shaped our hearts as a basketball legend and as a father. To Kobe, this one is for you. As a basketball-loving country, our nation definitely took pride in Kobe's six visits to the Philippines. The Black Mamba took our trash can shouting, rather shooting Kobe shouting culture to reality. And as he reached out to our country's players and aspiring athletes to dream big and achieve the best that we can be, so now here with us to share their Kobe Bryant stories are Philippine basketball players Bobby Ray Parks Jr. and Jai Reyes. Welcome guys. Um, it's quite a solemn atmosphere that we have going on right now. But we talked about how much Kobe really changed the landscape of basketball internationally, nationally, and I'm sure even in your own personal life. But let's start first with, you know, how it affected you and how it molded you to become the players that you are now. Uh, shoot. Kobe, Kobe is Kobe. I mean, at the end of the day, you can, it goes from era to era. So it started with Magic and Larry Bird, then you go from Kobe, from Michael Jordan to Kobe era to now LeBron. Um, just being a witness of that, being able to say that I grew up in a Kobe area, it, it, it's a beautiful thing because he shaped the game of basketball in so many ways on and off the court. Um, to how it is today to the Mamba mentality. Um, just growing, seeing him being drafted to him not playing his first couple of years, then suddenly growing and changing and honing the sport like it is his own. So it, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing to be part of that. And Jai, I'm sure it also is more personal with you because you were coached by Kobe's dad. Yeah, um, I was fortunate enough to spend almost every day with Kobe's parents, uh, Miss Pam and Coach Jelly, yeah. when I was playing as an import in, in the ABL in Bangkok. And then after that, um, we also joined the TBSL, which was the PBA version yeah. of, of the Thailand basketball right now. So just hearing so many personal stories about Kobe and their grandchildren. You know, when I first, you know, my wife woke me up when it happened. And my son's name was Kobe also. So my wife was like, um, Kobe's dead. So I turned to my son first. I was like, oh, what are you man. talking about? Then he said, no, it's Kobe Bryant. So it was about 5 a.m. and I couldn't go back to sleep anymore. Yeah. I immediately remembered uh, Coach Jelly, who's also my friend still in Facebook, and he still talks to me from time to time. So I sent him a message, but you know, of course, I understand that they're probably busy, and you know, I, I can't imagine how they're handling the, the, those stuff right now. Um, but I wasn't really a fan of Kobe at first. Probably because I didn't have the tools, the same as Kobe, to do those moves. Ray probably has, to, has that. But when I learned about Kobe's attitude and why he was acting like that on the court, pushing his teammates to get better every single time, that's when I really appreciated Kobe. And I know Ray also said that he called himself a Kobe hater, but yeah, now... When I was young because my dad was really the fan of Kobe. Um, I was really so keen on Michael Jordan. I'm like, Michael Jordan's the best, he's the GOAT, he's, yeah. he's everything. And then just looking at Kobe through my dad's eyes, being able to understand why my dad idolized Kobe so much is just the way he approached the game and he puts on the show each and every night. He carries the team on his back and, you know, at times I would say, like, Kobe just shoots the ball every time. but. What my dad told me is that he just had that killer mentality in him that he's out to win each and every night. So it made me appreciate him more and more as I seen the game through his eyes. And for me, the story was um, my mother texted me. She's in L.A. Um, she texted me at 3 a.m. in the morning. I woke up around 5 also. Um, I was just devastated. Uh, I woke up crying. I couldn't even believe it. I thought it was fake news till I just started looking on social media through Twitter, Instagram, and I... I I was just in shock. I was just in awe. And then I just decided to just work out just to try to get my mind off things. And, you know, it was just thinking, like, what would Kobe do in this, in this yeah. instance? So, yeah, um, it, it's devastating not just to me, but to the whole world. And he touched everybody's lives through the game of basketball and through the life that he lived. So you mentioned a while ago that it was because of your dad that yeah. you began to love Kobe. Now, how does it feel, Ray? 
usually it's, it's something him passing his love to Kobe for you that's something like a legacy and the thing is as we all know legacies usually don't die yes and in the moment that it did how did that feel Ooh, I, I, I can only imagine how it feels because I mean like I said I lost my dad too and I can imagine how the family feels for Kobe for just losing him physically there but for a fact the, the, the lives that he touched and the people that he influenced throughout the game of basketball whether you met him in person or just seen him through television I know for a fact he was able to make an impact in your life and to change your perspective on how you view life whether it may be to basketball or off the court personal personal stuff when it comes to him being a father that's that's the bittersweet part of what happened just you know losing Kobe and then losing Gigi along with him who was the Mamba Sita who was the next reigning Mamba uh, it, it's just so devastating it's tough but they forever leave, leave on a legacy of of the the love for the game and that father-daughter and that is just unreplaceable it, it's, it's different <laughs> for you Jaya as a son this time you know as a father you would want to pass the same love that you have for the sport to your kid and of course you know again as we mentioned Kobe's a legend he's a great yes. and you would want to pass that Mamba mentality on and it don't you feel a sting will there come a point that when you tell that kind of the Mamba mentality share stories of Kobe you'd feel uh, a bit of a pang there, a feel of emptiness. Yes. Well, yeah, of course, um, right now, as early as right now, I want to impart that, that kind of mentality to my kids. Because, you know, I think every father's dream is for his kids, his kids just to be better than him, yes. no matter what. I just want my kids to be better than me in, in everything that they do. And, you know, I just have this, I just remember this story uh, about Coach Jellybean, you know, one time we were at the dugout, he was talking to somebody on the phone, and then he, he sat next to me, and he was like, hey, say what's up to this guy. So I took the phone and said, what's up, man? And he was like, hey, what's up? Good luck on your game. And it was Kobe. Wow. <laughs> so that was really my personal story, you know, I got to talk to Kobe, like, one-on-one -on, -one on the phone. You know, I was able to to share those yeah. Nike camps and, and everything. We're in some place. We're fortunate yeah. enough to be taught by Kobe here in Manila. But, you know, I would ne I will never forget that story, you know, just being to talk to, to a, the, one of the greatest players who ever played the game. You know, it really touched me. And right now, it just means so much more in, in how to adapt this mentality, mm -hmm. not just to basketball, but in everything that you do in life. Now, in one word, though I'm sure you have a lot, what did Kobe mean to you? What is Kobe to you? Well, for me, it's excellence. Excellence. For me, irreplaceable. Irreplaceable. And that he is. Thank you so much, guys, for being in and for sharing your stories. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now, up next, we see through the eyes of our media icons as they share their very own accounts on Kobe Bryant beyond NBA basketball. It's all for more for the Black Mamba when the score returns.